He was on his way to his final campaign stop when the popular gubernatorial candidate was ambushed by unknown gunmen. Rodolfo Torri of the Institutional Revolutionary Party and at least four others were killed in the attack. Polls had him well ahead in the Tamaulipas state elections, scheduled for July 4th. Violence and intimidation have tainted campaigns throughout Mexico's history, but this assassination is the highest profile political killing in the last decade. The government is blaming drug cartels. It's an event not only against one candidate from a political party, but also against democratic institutions. And because of this, it's an event that demands a unified and firm response. Drug violence is also on the mind of Torres' main rival, whose party announced Monday that it was suspending all its campaigns. But when Al Jazeera caught up with him in recent days, he was out talking to voters with no security. Unarmed and without an escort, José Sacramento risked his life, running for governor of Tamaulipas, one of Mexico's most dangerous states. I don't even travel in an armored car. If he wins, Sacramento knows the power of drug cartels he may have to confront. I've seen 200 heavily armed men in one single plaza. They're incredibly powerful and they have an absolute control of almost everything and everyone is terrified. During the campaign, he took some precautions, campaigning on television rather than in person and answering voters' questions via the Internet. But he did campaign face to face. Events with women and children were much safer. Someone has to make himself responsible for the city, for the people's well-being. They are our representatives. They have to put themselves in God's hands because it's worth it for the people. They may be killed, but too many innocent people are also getting killed. Candidates from all parties around the country are receiving threats. As the drug cartels become more powerful, they're increasingly dominating all aspects of local lives, from members of the police forces to businesses and even politicians. La violencia. The drug cartels want to control municipal authorities, functionaries that will protect them. That's why they want to control the elections now. There had already been one killing during this campaign. Back in May, Mario Guajardo, the mayoral frontrunner for President Felipe Calderón's party, was gunned down with his son also in Tamaulipas. The race that leads towards state elections in early July will be particularly tough for candidates who belong to President Felipe Calderón's party, as no one in Mexico's modern history has waged such a concerted war against the drug cartels. Never before has organized crime been so involved in the threats and attacks. Esto es una amenaza a la democracia mexicana. This is a threat against democracy in Mexico. Still, I have faith that the political system is much stronger than organized crime. Despite the threats, political parties say they won't shy from representing the Mexican people. As this country's war on drugs increasingly becomes a battle for control between the politicians and the cartels. Mariana Sánchez, Al Jazeera, Nuevo Laredo, México.